Talking about rhombi in squares, and we want to recognize and apply the properties of rhombi in squares, and we want to determine whether quadrilaterals are rectangles, rhombi, or squares. So the first thing we need to know about squares is squares have all properties of a parallelogram a rectangle and a rhombus so there's a few uh, that we want to highlight here so the first one is uh, all sides are congruent. So we'll put one right here, and that's going to show that all sides are congruent. So if we put three marks on each side, that will show that those all three side or all four sides are congruent. Number two, opposite sides are parallel. So if we put three parallel marks there and three there, and we want to put two on the right side and two on the left side. So that was going to be our example two. Uh, next one is diagonals are perpendicular bisectors. So they're perpendicular. So for that one, we're going to show, all we have to do is show one 90 degree angle. And then that 90 degree angle right there shows that these other ones are also 90 degrees. And they're also, they're perpendicular bisectors. So that means that these are cut in half. And in this case, not only are they cut in half, but they're also all congruent to each other. So the, these two are congruent, are congruent, are congruent. That's going to be for number three. Uh, the next one that we're going to have, we're talking about squares. Slide it up there. A little bit too far. Talking about squares, number four. Uh, all diagonals are congruent. So kind of can see that here, that they're all congruent, but we'll put four congruent marks on this one, and we'll put four congruent marks in this one. That'll show that we're talking about the whole diagonal, and that's going to be number four. We have two more to talk about, and we have number five, diagonals bisect angles. All right, so we're looking at number five. We'll do this one right here. And all that means is that this angle is cut in half. So this part is congruent to this part. And the other thing that we know is that all of these angles are also going to be congruent to each other. Not only are they bisected, but they, these are all 45 degree angles. Those are all 45 degree, degree angles because uh, all angles are 90 degrees. And that's the last one we're going to be writing down. Are 90 degrees or right angles. So that's 90 degrees, that's 90 degrees, that's 90 degrees, and that's 90 degrees. And that was the sixth one that we talked about.
So these are the six properties that a square has.